Tom, RuneScape is under attack. The PvP worlds are being heavily infiltrated with hardcore Iron Men. And your mission today is to kill them all. I don't care what dirty tricks you use. I want every single hardcore Iron Man dead. My mission today is to kill every single hardcore Iron Man in PvP worlds. And I got six different stages of accounts to kill them on. Let's start with stage one. Look at this guy, hardcore Iron Man, by the way, PvP. He's shopping willows right there. There are three different methods to approach a hardcore Iron Man when killing them. In this scenario, I decided to log in under him. There he is. He's running to the bank. Dorgish and crossbow. Bigots. He's out of food. Penis. And the man says penis as he falls to the ground. Hardcore Iron Man PvP, by the way, is down. Good fight, man. Bang. And he logged out. Oh my god, he's putting up a fight. Good fight. Good fight. Wait, UIM Mike is here. We found him, we found him. He was by the compost, by the water, and he's dead. Two hits. Ultimate Iron Man down. Holy shit, look at all of them. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six hardcore Ironmans in one location, this is exciting. There is one method to surviving stage one of PvP locked hardcore Ironmans and that is by completing Witch's House. This way you get 25 hit points and I will very likely not be able to kill you. For this reason I've decided to kill the people who are doing the quest. while he was doing witch house quest. We found someone. Teleport with Chronicle. PvP Hardcore Iron Man Joe is down. Alright, the account 100k bounty, a brand new Hardcore Iron Man, he just started today. And we're gonna kill him just because he has a 100k bounty. Look at him. And he's dead. 100k. <laughs> yeah, the bounty, we gotta kill him. <laughs> okay, I've waited here for about 5 minutes now and he doesn't show up, so I think he has scammed me. This 100k bounty guy who I just killed, I think he made a second account called 200k bounty. And I'm gonna kill that account as well for scamming me. Oh my god, the biggest lore ever. Who was that? <laughs> what? Who the hell was that? Don't let me catch around these parts again. Who the hell is Swede versus Snake? He finally paid up 100k! I scouted this World 37 survivor, a hardcore Iron Man in World 37 only, and he was going west from Lumbridge Castle. He might be going for the ham store room. before he gets there, and there he is. Yep, we got him. World 37 warrior is down. We're gonna take his coins actually. 
3k. I didn't even record. No way. I recorded the wrong screen. Big little puppy is dead. A hard cry man. And I recorded the wrong screen. No. A YouTuber by the name of Solo Mission created a hardcore Iron Man and he placed a 250 mil bounty on himself. Me together with Goody and Framed was in a call together and with our brains combined we managed to track him down to this location. Nah. He tapped! He tapped! Oh my god! Goody decided to camp world 43 and I decided to camp world 24. And then we just waited for him to come back. Oh my god, I got him. 250 mil in the bag. The 250 mil bounty was divided 50-50 between me and Ronan. And since he got the kill, he will make a much more in-depth video on what went down this day. And before we move on, I want to say that this video is sponsored by my Twitch channel. So if you want to support me for free, feel free to use a Twitch Prime on my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash C underscore engineer. Back to the video. This account is by far the best account to hunt hardcore Ironmans on. If I manage to catch a TB on you far away from a bank, you are most likely dead. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I saw him. Maybe Slayer, maybe another quest, I don't know. We got a TB. He almost killed me. The only way he can escape is by killing me. Hello, Mr. Hardcore Iron Man. Bro, oh, good fight. He did actually have some good skills. He had the rune skimitar and 493 total level. Not bad. I've been told there's a PvP Hardcore Iron Man south of the East Bank. There he is. Kimo! Noob. He calls me a noob. PvP, but Kimo is down. He was doing rune essence. I'm going to tell you a secret. I have made friends with players who are in PvP worlds for different reasons than mine. My friend FL here is going for 99 defense and he is the one who scouted Kimo for me. He could have teleported. This is the end for Acidic man. You are too far away from a bank. Here's the debower and we have killed Mr. Acidic. Good fight Acidic. Good fight. Another hard cry man has fallen. I managed to track a hard cry man down doing Alkyrid rooftops and I'm 100% confident that no one in the comments can predict what happened next. By accidentally coming here. I was almost getting PK, then I found him here instead. Good fight. That's a hard crime and down. As a hard crime and PK, you gotta think what is a good money making method for the hard crime ans. And Agility Pyramid is one of the more popular places. Wait, he schooled up on me. What? There we go, we got our name tangled. He's venomed as well. What did he expect? I'm gonna take your water skin, I don't care. I want to introduce to you Hardcore Georgie 177. This man reached level 50 combat on a PvP locked hard crime and before I, ev I even found him for the first time by accident. Because I now had his name, 
I decided to add him to my hit list of 92 hardcore Iron Man so far. I decided to place out scouts at early game teleport locations, and it didn't take a long time until I found him. Oh my, if I just was a bit quicker. If you paid attention, you would have noticed that he used the ectophile to teleport away. For this reason, I decided to complete the quest Priest of Peril and gain two combat levels. Just to hunt him down. Hello there. I'm here to turn off your monitor. So now that we have found him online again, we wait. Oh! How could Georgie I missed out? So I missed out on my chance to kill him because I was eating. But it's not over yet. Since I have a slow reaction time, I decided to go with a different strat. Keep one account by the teleport spot and have my attacker east so I have enough time to go and get him. Here we go. We got a TV. He's fighting back. Oh my god, he's fighting back. He can actually kill me. Can he hit a 12? I'm risking it. Oh shit, he can hit a 12. Hit another 12. He can't hit this far. There's the Venom. He doesn't know he can't use that. He, the Venom is hitting strong on him. He's smited. Triton, good fight. Hardcore Georgie, good fight. We got 61k from him, but that's not the point. The point is that we killed him. 857 total level. Combat level 60, probably. I think this is actually the highest hardcore Iron Man we have killed so far. A familiar face OSR is curious, I decided to hunt him again. And I killed him again, this time for a one male bounty. Before I explain exactly how I scouted so many hardcore Ironmans, I'm just gonna kill a few more. Did I just splash? I got a TB? Yeah, he's gonna be dead. Mithril. Mithril. Good fight, fella. Hardcore Iron Man down. <laughs> he still haven't fallen. Eight minutes in, I, I'm getting impatient here. We got a TB. We got an entangle. Okay, this should be it. Good one, fella. See? And he's down. Hard Cryman is down. We have reached the final three stages of the PvP Hardcore Iron Man. And this is where it gets more difficult for me for three reasons. The first reason being teleportations and scouting. If you have played the account smart, you should have more teleports available than I have accounts to scout you on. And the reason number two, food and supply. If you have played the account smart, you should be able to have sharks, maybe even Bruce at this point, to be able to tank me to a bank from a far distance. And the final reason, reason number three, paranoia and or PTSD. Because if you have reached this point on an account, I am assuming you have encountered a PvP interaction. And since I've experienced this myself, I know that you play with extra precaution after the first few PvP interactions. As far as I know, there are only two PvP locked hardcore Ironmans who have reached this stage of their accounts. Their names are Hardcore Nerve Shrek, also known as Teletubby King on YouTube, and then we have Sax PvP Hardcore Ironman, also known as Sack S on YouTube. And for both of these players, I cannot use the basic strats I've used previously. I need to use the more advanced strategies to get them. And for this reason, I would like to welcome all of you to my house for the first time ever. In my house, I have a total of six portal chambers to all different type of teleports in game. 
plus one portal of Nexus. With these portal chambers, I can scry into a location without going there. So I can scout up PvP locked hardcore Iron Man without them knowing the fact that I have scouted them. Hello, Ditter Bitter. Hello, Zack. Hello, Nerf Trick. To make it as efficient as possible, I will be using 5 accounts to scout on and have the 6th account, the hard crime and hunter, run around and try to find them. Something I've noticed with hardcore nerf trick is the fact that he has been running east from Lambridge multiple times in the last 30 minutes. No way! He's actually so quick! By looking at his XP gains, I managed to track him down to Black Demons and to the Anvil in Sears Village. However, since there's a delay on the login screen, he can actually see me before I can see him. Therefore giving him the advantage to teleport away before I can tell block him. The same thing goes for Zack's PvP Hardcore Iron Man. I managed to scout him during a farm run, I logged into his world, and because of his slight advantage, he got away. I also managed to scout Zack to the Fire Giants, a very AFK spot. We have lost the aggro. I just- I splashed. I splashed the TB. Can you believe it? I splashed the TB. Oh, but that was my chance. Alright then. Alright. I don't think he's too happy about me. <laughs> Okay, this is wild. I scouted Zack using the Solve Graveyard Teleport. So I got my pure ready. And he just disappeared. Where'd he go? What? Where did he go? And then he came back. And I approached him from a different direction. I don't get it. I don't get it. Where is he running? Where is he going? I can't believe I messed that up. I can't believe that. He had no gear on him. Why did he have nothing on him? I can feel it in my fingertips how close I am to getting Zack. I've been hunting for 100 hours at this point, but I can just feel how close I'm getting to him. Tom, I have another mission for you today. His name is Poisoned Potion. Kill him. Poison Potion, also known as Hardcore PP. He is not a PvP locked Hardcore Iron Man. However, he recently called me out and challenged me to kill his Hardcore Iron Man. He will soon regret calling me out. You can see his cannon right there, but we need to lose aggro real quick. I think this is the position of the cannon. I think the smartest way to get him is by logging in under the cannon. There we go. What just happened? I lost membership just as I was about to attack. <laughs> I see him. We do have one attempt to get him here. Here we go. Just got a kill. He's running. He's running to the multi as well. Here we go. He has a lot of food though. He has a lot of food. We got the perfect freeze. Guys, I'm panicking. Hardcore PP on the line. I'm lagging so much. He's a very good prey flicker, I must admit here. Oh, he got the tank links too. Here we go. Catch a freeze. Oh, he splashed. Not good. There we go. First freeze, perfect. That's what we like to see. 31, nice. Oh, that's a big hit. 
I'm misclicking. We need the DPS here. He's about to be out. Last ages. 58! Pick it! No! Chanced! He got chanced! That final hit, the final ages. Good fight, man. He got away on 15 HP! No way! Poisoned Potion wins again. He finds me without scouting, so you're fucked. I think I may know something else. He found me, I think because of the scrying pool. I don't think so. He found me at PP, at a farm run. He has found me five times in two days. Well, you were warned. So the plan with stage 6 is simple. I'm gonna wait by the entrance of the Rev Cave and hope my Darox Axe kills him. Four hundred and eighteen! Four hundred and eighteen XP drop, how much is that? I looked away for one second. So that hit on Poison Potion gave me four hundred and eighteen strength experience. And I'm not sure if this would have given me the kill. Some are saying this would have hit one hundred and some are saying it would have hit a ninety. His hit points was ninety three at the time. But yeah, I'm bummed. This was the best chance I've had so far. If I just was one tick earlier. John, I have some good and some bad news. The good news, I managed to kill 20 hardcore Ironmans. But the bad news are that there are still three alive. So, you have failed your mission to kill every single hardcore Iron Man. Do not dare call me back unless they are all dead.